You will have heard of the Windrush generation, the thousands of people who travelled from Caribbean countries to Britain after the Second World War to help rebuild the so-called mother country. So the, the concept and the idea of going to England was for a better life. They were going to go to England, get these jobs that were available. They, they had this vision that they'd be able to make a living, you know, get money and, say, and then go back home and have a better lifestyle. The reality is that that's not what happened. But you may not know as much about the experiences of the children who were left behind. Known as barrel children, they grew up with extended family members and in many cases only knew of their parents through anecdotal accounts and the care packages sent back in the form of parcels and barrels. And my grandparents always said, remember, your mother is in England. Your mother is in England. This is their story. Everybody knows when you're getting a barrel. Because everybody knows Christmas comes, she's going to have her barrel. Everybody comes to visit. So there would be things in the barrel, rice in the barrel, sugar in the barrel, flour in the barrel, soap, and then she could share out. So everybody would get a bit of this and, you know, a bit of that. So the barrels were practical. They weren't frivolous. Follow me, Nadine White, as I speak with those who were the sons and daughters of the first wave of Windrush migrants about their experiences of growing up away from their parents. They discuss how they dealt with being sent for to join their mothers and fathers in England and having to leave behind all that they knew for a land unknown. And I never forget when I came off that plane and my sister said, there's your mum. I said, I don't know who's this woman. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know. And my mother cried. We only had photographs of mum when she was in Jamaica. We didn't have any photographs since she came here. So the person we saw in that photograph wasn't the person that was there. I met this woman who I have not seen for 14 years or 14 and a half years, whatever. I, I've never said mother to anyone. I've never said mom to anyone. The British Empire has created a trail of broken black families across generations who have had to reconcile with displacement and loss. From the Windrush era where parents and grandparents were separated from their young ones while greater economic prospects were sought in the country that once colonised theirs, to slavery, where enslaved black people lived with the constant possibility of separation and family members were bought, sold and ripped apart at auction blocks. The emotional cost has been high. And our trauma goes right back to slavery. It's ingrained in us and it's ingrained in the mother who lose their children. They may not tell you, and you see them looking as if life is, but that, that is still there, just as it was in slavery, when they dragged a child away from the mother. Doesn't mean the mother forgot that child. This is the painful legacy of Windrush. <laughs>